Goose Gossage joining me here. And interestingly enough, the Angels and Mariners are both 14 games out right now behind the red hot Houston Astros, who are 42 and 16. So, what what <laughs> advice would you give to those teams right now? I mean, how, how do you dig down deep when you're 14 out, sitting there in the dog days of summer, Goose? Well, first of all, you have to have the wherewithal. I mean, it, it, you know. Uh, the, it was a good thing uh, that year. You know, the press went on strike, or the newspapers went on strike in in New York, and I can't help but think that helped us because uh, <laughs> we didn't have to read all the negative crap that was going to be, you know, written about us. So uh, that was a blessing in disguise. But you know, it was that team. It was the greatness of those players, and 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 of course me. You know, really, uh, I mean that in all sincerity that. It would have never been the greatest comeback in history if I hadn't dug us that deep hole to begin with. They stuck with me, and and the harder I tried, you know, I would get to the mound, and Munson would say, hey, how are you going to lose this one? I said, I don't know. Get your little ass back there, and we'll, we'll find out, okay? <laughs> and uh, so it was that kind of stuff, but it was my teammates, Catfish, and all those guys that – when I reached rock bottom up in, you know, he would say, how are you going to lose this one when I'd get to the mound? And, uh, you know, he he said it, you know, jokingly, of course, but it, there was some truth. And that was great back in, that back then, Rich, because everything, there were no festering wounds um, that weren't talked about. You know, there, your mother was not sacred on that team. And, <laughs> you know, that was just the way those guys were. And, that real, that that true, as bad as badly as I was pitching, they were making fun of it, you know, and and trying to loosen me up, and they knew that I was trying so hard. When I put, I grew up a Yankee fan out here in Colorado. I loved playing Rich for every team that I played for. I played for eight other teams, loved every moment of every team, but putting on those pinstripes and growing up a Yankee fan out here in Colorado when we didn't have much exposure to baseball. Uh, we got one game of the week that was Dizzy Dean and Pee Wee Reese. And then the Yankees were, you know, the Yankees and, and my mm-hmm. family were all Yankee fans and then getting to play for them. I always said, you know, when I put those pinstripes on, it was like an out of body experience. And, and uh, it was much different than any place else I played. And as I said before, I, Loved every every team that and everywhere that I played, uh, but putting on those pinstripes was uh, special. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to help the NFL figure out what a catch is. <laughs> 